Loneliness is as deadly as smoking. This is what the Surgeon General of the United States said last week in an 85-page report. In the report, he says, Given the significant health consequences of loneliness and isolation, we must prioritize building social connection the same way we have prioritized other critical public health issues such as tobacco, obesity, and substance use disorders. He went on to address some myths about loneliness, addressing the need for relationships that go deep. He continues, It's when we get into the deeper levels of sharing and understanding one another that we build strong connections. All this should make sense to us, followers of Jesus Christ. As a church, as a people, we know that we need each other. We are created to be in relationship with one another and with God. For many of us, church is the place where those deep connections with Jesus Christ and one another are formed and they grow cellularly and through that holy encounter, those holy relationships. On our darkest days, we know that Christ is always with us. And even in our joyous days, we know he is with us. At church, we have a network of people who serve with us, that pray for us, visit us, and are there for us in good times and in bad. It's the pilgrimage of life. But for some, church is a place where we are lonely, surrounded by people that never really accept us, but smile as we enter and then forget us or even ignore us. I have said this many times before. There is a difference between belonging and welcoming. If our churches are truly to be places where people can encounter the love of Jesus Christ, they must do more. We must do more than simply offer words of welcome. Our churches need to be a home, a place where people belong. Helping someone know that they truly belong doesn't come from a program. It comes from the revolution of the heart, heart to heart, voice to voice, journey by journey. And it doesn't matter if they look like us, talk like us, dress like us, or vote like us. We are called to love and accept each one for who they are and how they were created, just as Jesus loves and accepts us. Let us never forget that loneliness doesn't have just one face. It can be masked by a smile, a laugh, or the appearance of having it all. Right now, our nation and our world are filled with people longing to find that deep connection. As the church, we can meet their need and end this pandemic of loneliness. All we have to do is to listen, be present, and to love. This is how you fill your pews with people. This is how we fill our hearts with one another. You do not need a new committee to let someone know they belong. Don't settle for offering a welcome. Be a community of belonging. Belong to Christ, belong to one another, and together let's meet the world's pain with love. God bless you, and I encourage you, embrace one another, listen to one another, and be there for one another, just like Christ is there for us. God bless you.